Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sum if. So I'm looking at question number eight, and it says use a function that uses both absolute and relative referencing in D7 to calculate the sum of the duration column if oops, the decode column contains MD. So you're pretty much told by the question that it's a sum if because you're, it says calculate the sum of duration if the decode column contains MD. So um, how we would use sum if, and I'll just show you the spreadsheet, is basically um, we only add something into a sum of value if um, it fits a certain criteria. So the same as all the if functions really, same as count if, um, average if, some if works in the same way. So we'll go ahead and start and I'll just talk you through. So in D7 is where the total duration will go for each of the D codes. And we're also told that we shouldn't be using rows 1 to 13, okay, in our, in our results. So I'm just going to highlight and shade rows 1 to 13. And I'm going to go ahead and start my function again. You could just type in equal sum if if you want, or you can search for it um, and use the function arguments window like this. I just use this to, so I think it makes it a bit clearer for you to see what's going on. Okay, so we've got three parts to the function. The first is the range, and the first range is where Excel will look for the criteria. So we're going to highlight, and we're told that in the question, we're told that uh, we're going to calculate the duration uh, the duration column if the decode column contains MD. So we're told that the decode column is where we're looking for MD. So decode is what I need to highlight for my first range. So I'll just highlight that range. Okay. And as with all our other functions that we're copying, where we're copying down, I want that range to stay the same when I move it down into the next cell and the next cell and the next cell. So that range, I need to press F4 to make that absolute. The criteria then is going to be, well, we're looking for MD. So our criteria will be B7. It's only one cell for the criteria. And that needs to remain relative, meaning that when I copy the function down, I want the cell reference of the criteria to change. So it will then look for AC for the sum, it will look for PR for the next one, and keep going. The sum range now is always numerical. And basically, so if you look at this spreadsheet, it's pretty easy then to figure out which is the sum range because we're not using rows 1 to 13, we've already been told. So it can only be duration. But if you get confused, look at the question. It says we're going to calculate the sum of the duration column. So that's the one that we're going to use as our sum range. So I'll go ahead and highlight the duration column, the whole column. And again, I need to make sure that's absolute so that when I copy that function down, also the sum range doesn't change. Because what will happen is if I don't copy that down, I'll just put my, I'll just show you what will happen. So let's put the total in. And obviously I need to format all these with the correct format. So I need to read the question and check. But if we weren't to make um, our ranges absolute, every time we copy that function down, um, Excel would include, it would keep moving down and down. So the range would start to include empty cells and it would start to um, not include the cells at the top. So it would start to give you the incorrect information. I'm just going to check on the question before I move on where it tells me to format. So it must tell us to format later on in the question. So that's fine. Um, I just wanted to make sure I hadn't missed it out. Um, so that's how we reduce the sum if. I'm just going to copy that down now. Same as always. I'm just going to move my cursor into the bottom right hand corner and then double click. Yeah. And all that's done now is it's looked in the decode column for MD. It's found every MD entry. Where there's an MD, it's flagged it up. So let's look at these first four. And then 
It's then looked over at the duration for those MD values. And it's, these are the values it's added. So it will only add a value to the sum if it's in, it corresponds with MD in this case. And then as we've copied the function down, the next piece of criteria will be B8, which B8 contains AC. So in this case, then it will start to, it won't look for MD anymore. It will look for all the ACs, if there are any, yet yeah, they're all down here. And then it will add up the durations that match with AC. So that's how the sum if works.